It's a very cool morning. Yeah, look at this. This nice haze sort of making it look very cool. Here's Cook Island out there. So, I've come down to Fingal because uh, like they're northerly over the last two days. Like people were catching them all last week. I couldn't get out. Wasn't allowed to go, just no time. Lots of work and a bit busy. And so I finally get a chance to go. I sort of get the pass for Wednesday and unfortunately the northerlies over the last couple of days went like took the temperature from probably almost almost hit 24 it looked like and it all of a sudden it's just dipped straight down to like 20 so uh that was a pretty bit of a, a bit of a downer but uh i checked the map uh checked the chart for phytos and the phytos are still sitting right up at it almost went to 24 again so it's definitely sitting at least on 23. The water that just touched my feet didn't feel all that warm, but it never is right in close on the surf most of the time, so. All right, let's do this. This is a before work trip, so to drive down, it takes about half an hour to get down here from my house. So I've only got limited time, I gotta be back. It's not a late start either, I gotta be back by nine. It's just gotta get a bit further out here. Find those fish get back in before work how hard could it be that water is buzzing over there look at that either that's bait or it's got that fine ripple all over it like as if it's just buzzing with bait just under the surface like it's about to explode so the sound is already starting to show some good signs never really know what that is but because around here there's these big, you know, those surgeon fish and they sort of school up and you get those great readings and then you just check the footage or you look, see underneath and it's just this big surgeon fish. But it could be a huge school of mackerel just hanging out as well. Now we just got to do this little stretch that's in between and then we hit the reef. But we're travelling at 10 k's an hour now. 11 k's an hour. Ooh, the current's raging. And the temperature just went up another 5.5 degrees. So you gotta be wary actually around here because on a day when the, the current really is raging, like I would say it's reasonably strong today because I'm traveling at 10 k's an hour now and I'm definitely not pumping it. So on days like that, you just gotta be wary around here because you turn around, you're going 10 k's one way and you turn around, you go to paddle back the other way and you're traveling at one k. And yet that's when you sort of realise you've just paddled for an hour in one direction and now you've got about a four hour paddle to get back. <laughs> so yeah, Fido's is one of those places you do have to be aware. It's a lot more currency. It's alright on a day like today, or maybe today sort of lulls you into this false sense of security because it's nice and calm, there's nothing breaking on the bombing out here. Normally there's massive waves breaking out here. But the surf's down, so you sort of think, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Don't have to worry about anything, but then that current is still raging underneath. So it's not like this all the time. Sometimes it's just dead, but something to be aware of if you're coming down and you haven't done it before. Oh. another trip down with nothing to show for it in any case I get to sort of ride one of these waves in it'll be interesting to see if I get wet they're only small but it'd be nice to sort of zip in on one just to top it all off to make me feel good about it all
So we've been getting a lot of questions about the spear gaff. I made this one just before I went to Hawaii and they just looked like they worked and I'd lost a couple of fish, like a big kingy, just before I did this. And uh, it's sort of, it's all because I hesitated gaffing it because I thought it was going to go berserk. Yeah, so I put this one together and as I was packing my bag, I actually broke my hook gaff trying to force it in. So I ended up just running with this one over there. And then when I got back, I sort of realized it sort of does the job and uh, never really replace it. Better for big fish, maybe not better for smaller fish, but uh, you know, if your aim's good, there's no reason why you can't use it for everything. But the spear gaff is great for bigger targets and uh, things that you sort of want to pacify and they sort of just get stunned and go still for it for at least a couple of seconds and gives you a chance to sort of get ready to sort of haul him in. The spear shaft is made out of like I think it's 8mm stainless steel uh, threaded rod and that thread it really does actually uh, grip onto the fish really well. I chose to use an aluminium shaft and just a floating style hollow gaff. Um, a lot of guys like to use wood or something heavier because it, it sort of helps you get like a nice thrust into the fish but I found that if you've got a nice sharp uh, point then there's no real need to have that extra weight and I'm always really conscious about adding any kind of extra weight in my kayak just because I carry it with all the gear in it on my shoulder all the time and things like that so less weight's good. So I'm going to continue to use a spear and like in any case it's always nice to have another big spear in the kayak and that's something point, pointy and sharp just for whatever reason so that's always good too.